guys welcome back to my channel if this is your first time of clicking thank you so so much yeah welcome 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 good afternoon good morning good evening depending on your time and from where you're watching me from today i want to motivate everyone that is downcast i want to see what do in africa i want to motivate you look at this woman that you are seeing at the, this screen here look at madam ingozi you know her story will motivate you. Her story, what she has gone through before becoming what she is today. They were celebrating the, the only black woman in the UN. I want you to listen to her story. Listen to her testimony. Listen to what she she's sharing. Oh my God. At times, we just want to give up just because something happened to us and that's the thing. Maybe it weighs us down. We will say, I don't have mama. I don't have papa. My papa didn't send me to school. My papa died when I was young. When oh, I don't know that he was young, I was young. <laughs> oh God. See, I would say that anybody who wants to become something in life eh, will keep away excuses. Yes, there will be down time. There will be time that in your life you'll be down. There will be time in your life that you will not even know who to turn to. That one is the hundred percent fact. It's the truth. You don't even know where you don't even know how the next day will look like just like those passing through desert passing through Mediterranean sea passing through brazil colombo to go to just to come to the abroad they call where they'll have a good life you know people sacrifice their life people some people risk their life people do things just to do what so that they can tomorrow they can have a better tomorrow i always say that there's nothing good like you investing in your own self not only in your own self but investing in the future so that knowing that tomorrow eh? <laughs> i always say it's not only your own biological children that will help you tomorrow i don't think my mother tells it's not like that it can't be your own that you give better will help you no 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 just keep on spreading your seed spread it Help those who come yeah, that you can help. You know, make a world a better place. Uh -huh. That's what I'm talking about. Make a world. Look at this woman today. If she would have said, "Oh, my my mother, the kid, my mother," ah, let me just you know resign. As I said, she resign. Let me just resign. She would have resigned because you know somebody who loved the mother, if you like me, ah. Oh, love the mother with contemplating what is all this work here what is this job let me just resign so that I don't leave my mother for me but the, but the mother was being kidnapped you know at 83 years old like kidnapping an 83 years old woman hey uh, Nigeria eh? I don't know hmm. Nigeria Nigeria I don't know they kidnapping in this country and killing the people I don't just know what is all that just because somebody is doing well, you're not doing well. You, you feel that that person is your, is your problem. No, it's not your problem. The problem is you. The problem is you. We know government has their part to play. But now fighting your own, it's your own individual, that your own uh, same, I mean, it's somehow. Not because I'm in the parliament or I am here means that my parents should be suffering. Because it's not like enduring. Ah, please. We should not let the sin of our own, our sin affect our children. No. We should not be like that. We should not be doing those things. So watch her testimony, listen to it, and then please draw an inspiration from it. Be inspired, you know, be motivated. We should not just think that because all what is going like this around us, that is all no. Have that hope. Because the Bible always says that we should have hope. You know, when there's hope, there's life. Have that hope so that definitely tomorrow, when you to come out strong like her, now we're celebrating her. You see, we're celebrating her because she has come out strong. She has made us proud. Ah, uh, at times I just was say, God, really, really, when you set your eye on, set your goal, be focused, you achieve it. Just be focused. Focus is the key. Don't let any, any side thing distract you. Be focused and your dream will come to pass. Today the whole world celebrating her. The whole African continent celebrating her. 
because of what? Because she didn't resign. She didn't give up. She didn't say no because of this that happened. I will give up. No, she didn't. She didn't. And today we all of us are celebrating her. All of us are now, you know, we will point that the fact that she is there for us. She, I mean, she went ahead of us. So, guys, I want you to just watch the interview and <laughs> watch it so that you draw from her and learn. I always say that back home, people there need to become creative. Creativity is what we need. No dependent syndrome. All the dependent syndrome have to move away. Stop depending on people. Stop depending on this person. No, 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 no. Don't stop depending. All the dependent syndrome, take it away. Throw it somewhere. So, guys, so watch the video and please leave me your comment. What you think? For me, I just so much appreciate her. I just so much love the way she took the courage not to quit, but still do what she's doing. Watch the video. My 83-year-old mother, a retired professor of sociology, was kidnapped by four young men and held for five days. Keeping her wits about her as she was totally terrified, she asked them why she had been kidnapped. And they told her, quote, because your daughter, the finance minister, refused to pay oil marketers their dues. The kidnappers negotiating with my brother demanded my resignation publicly. They, I should go on television publicly and announce my resignation and depart from the country as a condition for my mother's release. Needless to say, these were some of the worst days of my life. Imagine when you are in position you want your parents, all of whom are here with you today, and your relatives, to be proud of you. You want to be a source of good for your family. You can imagine how I felt sitting there and thinking, just because of trying to do something right, to implement a good bit of policy that was good for the country, this could lead to the taking of my mother's life. These were some of the worst days of my life. With my father's support, the firm resolve of the president, we all decided I should not give in to the blackmailers, and I refused to resign. <laughs> Following a manhunt, I'm sorry, I still feel emotional when I talk about it. And this story is not really publicly known, so this is probably the first time I'm giving the full details. Following a manhunt for my mother by police and security agencies, she was able to make a dramatic escape after five days in ca captivity where she had only been given water and half of a sausage roll. So here was a well-justified cleanup and reform of a policy but implemented in a dangerous reform environment where the losers in the reform, well-entrenched vested interests decided to fight back to derail implementation. The decision not to resign was a very difficult and risky one. As it turned out, it worked. But there are days I ask myself on my down days, what if it hadn't? What if they had gone ahead and murdered my mother as she overheard them planning to do with one of their handlers on the phone? Could I have justified trading off firmness on policy and standing up to blackmailers, implementing a good piece of public policy for my mother's life? What decision would you have made? Faculty. What decision would you have made? 